so the off season you know so the off season is uh it's 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 upon us you know off season time we gotta do we gotta look forward to the draft draft uh the combine the mini camp training camp undrafted free agents supplemental draft like a lot of this it's finna get real a couple weeks after the super bowl is played it's about to get down to the nitty-gritty down to the nitty-gritty we're gonna see what we do with alshon we're gonna see what we do with malcolm jenkins we're gonna see if brandon brooks can come back from injury you know what I mean? If uh, Jason Kelsey about to retire, then we need to look after a veteran center to back up Nate Herbig. You know what I mean? Would that be a camp battle? Like, it's a lot of things that come into play around this time of the year because if your team is not in the playoffs, you immediately have to turn your attention to other things. Other things. Other activities in the off season. Uh... OTAs, you know, uh, uh, this is this is game time. You know what I mean? This is game time for your team. If you want to be in the dance next year, if you want to win the Super Bowl, it really starts after your team is eliminated from the season. 16 games, 17 games, 18 games, 19 games, no matter what it is, your team is eliminated. Once your team is eliminated, you need to focus on what's next for your team. What's next for us? Is getting our stuff in check for uh, the combine, the draft. That's what we focus on. Um, wide receiver or cornerback, Eagles Nation. What we what we what we thinking about? We think about we should go grab a young safety, um, convert Razul to safety. Finally, you know what I mean. Corey Unlin's out of there. Um, will we play a will we play a little bit more press? You know, will we bring in a. a a secondary coach that's going to bump and run. Like, Jim Swartz, he's supposed to be back as D.C. He didn't get the job uh, for the Browns. Okay. They took one of our execs from the uh, front office. What are we going to do about that? I think his name was Andrew Berry. Um, a VP of operations, something like that. So, we got to make some moves. We got to make some moves, definitely. Um, heard there's some more changes coming. Um, some more guys supposed to be fired. Next couple of days, new hires supposed to be going on next couple of days. Um, very excited for the offseason. I'm very excited for the offseason. Was very frustrated after what happened to Carson Wentz and the way that we went out. I believe that we will be going to uh, California to go play Jimmy G and the 49ers and that hard-hitting defense. And Kyle Shanahan, Kyle Shanahan and Doug Peterson, they will be dueling off this Sunday if not for, you know, that hit to the head and all those injuries to the roster. But we got a new chief medical officer looking everything over, combing through everything as we speak. Um, listening to the players um, and checking out what's what's really going on. You know, um, I believe that Jeffrey Lurie actually has somebody looking into what's been going on in the locker room as well, undermining leadership as well. That can come down to, I'm not going to lay out for this ball. Oh, I lost that ball in the lights. Oh, no, I could have I could, I could have ran for that ball, but I ain't want to. Hmm. I could have cut that route off a little shorter, you know. I could have gave Wentz a little bit more of a, uh, more of a target, but I ain't want to. You know, stuff like that. I mean, it comes out when you see your team playing. Then you start seeing catches that guys are making. You like, we weren't making catches like that early in the season. You know what I mean? Hmm. Guys giving that opportunity, they're taking advantage of that opportunity. And you shouldn't push those guys to the back, even though other guys come up and they're healthy. Oh, I'm healthy now. Okay, show me what you can do. You know what I mean? That's how it should be. You know, that's how we should look at stuff. We shouldn't just look at, oh, this is where you were, uh, so you were drafted. So this is where I'm going to put you on the depth chart. No. I'm going to base what performance the best players will play. If you're making plays on folks, my eyes need to go. My eyes are not lying to me. Either our talent isn't where it needs to be, or he's got some talent 
that exceeds other guys that's on this roster, but I'm thinking about where he was drafted at. I'm talking about Greg Ward, y'all. You see what I'm saying? Thinking about, oh, when the ball came his way, I don't think I saw Greg Ward drop a pass. That's, that's the type of stuff I'm talking about. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section.